which is right here, right? That's half of it. Yes. And I asked for one fourth, which is just that piece right here. So this one, this one, and this one. But what is half of half? Uh -huh. One fourth. Okay, so he gave me the one half and the one fourth. And that's what that is equal to. Okay? Now, if. No, we don't have to, but we're going to. If we add them, remember what did we talked about just at the end of class yesterday? The greatest common denominator, so the bottom has to be the same. So what would be the greatest common denominator here? Right. So they both are divisible by four, right? Right? You can do that, yep, four times two equals eight. 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 And then you have to eight. Correct. And then you, and then you reduce it, right? Four. So then you draw Correct. Correct. You got it right there. Michi, come up front so you can explain that. Can I go for uh, no, we're all done. Okay, so your boys, listen to Miss Michi. Okay, remember how we did it yesterday? I showed her. One she four. copied me. Oh, good job. You did good teaching. Okay, so how do we find the common? First, boys. you need to um, multiply. If they are not the same, you need to multiply. So then, four times two equals eight. Oh, I told you. And then, Right here. Oh, no, yeah, can't add it yet. Because remember, now you have both of them as eights on the bottom. But what do you have to do here on top? Whatever you do on the bottom, you have to do it on the top. You have to do on top. Not multiplying. No, you multiply one times two. How'd you get eight on the bottom here? So what do I have to multiply this one? If I multiply four times two, I have to do what on top? One times two. One times two goes here. And what did I do on this one? What did I multiply the bottom by? Four. So what do I do on top? Uh -huh. How did I go? By what? Uh -huh. How did I get eight to go right here? So what do I do on top now? Uh -huh. I multiply two times two. I multiply two times so now you got to do that the same thing on the top. So four times one is. Okay, now they're both the same, right? So everyone, boys, now the bottoms are the same, right? Same number. So now I can add the tops. So if I add the tops, I add two and four is six. What? Eight. Six eights. Now I can reduce it back down, right? Three fourths. So three fourths of the pizza is what I want, right? And that's how we got it. three fourths. <laughs> right. You subtract it off. Okay. All right. Let's try one more. 